So continuing talking about gradient, so make sure you have seen part one. We said what well, a gradient of a line, yeah, we're talking about graphs, has something to do with the steepness of that line. The slope, rise and run, they all mean the same, the gradient. Yeah? And it tells you something about the steepness of a line. And we looked at these two lines and we said that the gradient is if you go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up to be back on your line? And the amount of steps you have to go up to be back on your line, that is the gradient. Okay, so we've discussed this in part one. And here I have a new set of axes. And I still, I drew those first two lines, uh, y equals x plus one, where we said that the gradient is one. Let me just put a, I'll do that in black. Yeah, so in the previous video we found out the gradient of 1 and the second line y equals 2x plus 1 in the previous video we discovered that the gradient of that line is 2. All right. Now I did that in pen because otherwise there are just too many lines uh, on this set of axes and it gets confusing. Now let's have a look at this line. Now what is the difference between this line and those other lines which we already discussed. Well, you could say that these lines, they go up. Yeah, all these lines, they go up. While this line is going down. So if I would draw a mountain, yeah, with some snow, we go up and we can go down. All right, so this line is going down. Okay, now let's see what kind of implication that will have for the gradient. So we said the gradient is, if you would go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up to be back in your line? Now let's find a good point on the line to go one step to the right. And so nicely on an intersection there. Okay, now let's go one step. I'll turn my ruler. Let's go one step to the right. And how many steps do I go up to be back on my line. Well, I'm not going up. I'm going down, actually, to go back on my line. And how many steps do I have to go down? One, two. So, we've said that the gradient is one step to the right, how many steps up to be back on your line? Well, in this case, I'm going two down. Or you could say, I'm going minus two steps up and I'm back on my line. So, the gradient of this line is actually minus 2. When a line goes down, the gradient will be negative. Because if I go one step to the right, I go minus 2 steps up. Okay? Good. So, let's look at the last line, the final line. Now, is it going up or down the line? It's going up. Yeah, so I'm looking for a positive gradient. Because all lines that go up have a positive gradient, all lines that go down have a negative gradient. So again, I'm looking for a positive gradient. And it's not a very steep line, is it? Yeah? So the gradient is not going to be a very big number. All right, now let's have a look. Gradient, one step to the right, how many steps up? Now, let's go one step to the right here, and then I go, yeah, a fraction of one up. And it's a little bit difficult to see, yeah, is it a half, is it a quarter of a block? What is that? So, let's continue. Let's go two steps to the right and see how many steps we go up then. Yeah, but still it is difficult to see yeah, how many steps do we go up. So let's go another step to the right. So we have gone now three steps to the right. Yeah, one, two, three. How many steps do we go up? Ah, and now I can see that I go one step up. So if I go three steps to the right and one step up, that means that if I would go one step to the right, which is the gradient, then I'm going eh, one divided by three up. So the gradient is a third one over three of this particular line. And I already expected a low positive number because it's not very steep. So I'd like to say again, the gradient is 
one step to the right, how many steps do you go up? So that's the gradient. That's difficult to see in this case. So I continue going to the right until I can clearly see the amount of steps I'm going up. So three steps to the right, that's one up. Yeah. So then I have to divide that in three steps. So one over three is the gradient of this line. If this would have taken me four steps, one up, then the gradient would have been one over four. If it would be 12 steps, one up, the gradient would be one over 12. But in this case, three steps, one up, the gradient is one over three. Now, we are almost finished now, but I'd just like to show you something already, which is important. Gradient is the steepness of a line. Positive gradient, one step to the right, how many do I go up? Negative gradient, one step to the right, how many do I go down? Yeah? Or a negative amount of steps up. Yeah? So a negative gradient. Now if I look at my answers, and if I compare those with my equations, the equations of the lines, line one, y equals x plus one, we said the gradient is one. And where do I see a one in my equation? Well, I see a one here, but I also see a one in front of my x, uh, one x. Y equals two x plus one, the gradient was two. Now where do I see a 2? Just the coefficient of my x. Now let's see if I would continue. y equals minus 2x plus 1, the equation of this line. We said the gradient is minus 2. Again, that's the coefficient of my x. y equals a third x plus 1. And we said that the gradient is a third. And again, that is the coefficient of my x. So, in general, if you have an equation, and that's where we'll stop for now, y equals 2x plus 5, for instance, then that number in front of your x, 2 in this case, is the gradient. So, in this particular case, just looking at the equation, I know that if I would go one step to the right, I'll be going two steps up. It is a line that will go up. And if I compare this line with the following equation, 5x plus 2, which line is steeper? 2x plus 5 or 5x plus 2? Well, this line is going to be steeper. Why is that? Because the gradient of this line is 5, which is more than 2. Yeah, that's why it goes up quicker. And finally, you could even say, well, if we have the line y equals minus a half x plus seven, what can I already say about this line? I can say, well, the line is going down because it has a negative gradient of minus a half, but it's not going down very steeply. Yeah? So it is going down gradually because it has a very, if you like, yeah, low gradient yeah one step to the right half a step down okay so that is gradient where the gradient says something about the steepness of a line one step to the right how many steps do you go up that's the gradient and by looking at the equation of a line the gradient is the coefficient of your x two one one over three minus two two, five, the gradient is minus a half. Continue to the next videos to find out more about calculating gradients. All the best.